All right, <clears throat> I'm going to have to keep these videos to about uh, under around 25 minutes because they're hard to transfer to the uh, to the SD card. <clears throat> you get you get too much on your on your phone, right? And so you're limited. Anyway, I like to share about the three days of darkness. There's been a lot of videos, uh, especially from uh, Vicky Parnell and others concerning uh, the three days of darkness. You can find uh, find this uploaded to uh, the Prophecy Club and uh, lots of information there. And, uh, you know, from what Mike around the world was saying just a few weeks ago, that there is going to be a deep impact event to take place this year sometime. And we know that uh, this deep impact event is going to be an asteroid that's going to hit <clears throat> just off of Puerto Rico. And this was shown to Ephraim Rodriguez many years ago. That's going to... Uh, Max, that's enough. It's going to cause a... Max! Quiet! It's going to cause a 12-foot uh, earthquake, 12.0 earthquake, and a 1,000-foot tidal wave. And that this... is It's uh, actually a number of events that's going to come together. So this, the end result of this is that the... Uh, this is going to usher in the three days of darkness. Now, I've been kind of... You know, thinking about it, you know, if you listen to Mike from around the world, if you listen closely, you can pick up on what he is saying. You have to pick up on the clues that he leaves. We know that that the Earth has been experiencing just in the in this past week. You know, the Earth's been hit by uh, high uh, high energy pulses that's uh, that's been affecting the magnetosphere of the Earth. And even to the point where there was a crack that was observed in the magnetosphere, right? We're talking about uh, the atmosphere above our heads being affected and being being opened up to where we're totally exposed to the radiation from space, right? And uh, so he refers he refers to that as being the veil, the magnetosphere, right? And so I've, I've been meditating on this this morning, and it could be that the three days of darkness is when the magnetosphere, which is our shielding, is going to go down for three days. And it's going to allow, in other words, the uh, in between the this first dimensional realm and the second dimensional realm where the fallen angels are uh, we're talking about the uh, powers of, of, of the heavens, right? We're talking about the, uh, you know, Satan is bound in the second heaven. He's not bound in the first heaven. He's bound in the second heaven. But that veil is going to be removed uh, during the 33 days of, of darkness. There's going to be no, no protection. In other words, uh, Satan is going to have full access to the earth. I mean, right now we you know, we we got uh, demons on the earth, which are the, the the spirits of the Nephilim that God destroyed, but they're not they're not the principalities and powers, which could be uh, Nephilim, Nephilim, right? Uh, definitely the fallen angels. We know that the fallen angels have been some have been trapped, are in chains you know, below uh, below the earth. And uh, but that's what that's what I'm thinking that the magnetics of the earth actually protects us from the the realm of the second heavens where where Satan dwells. When that's removed, when that's removed, it's going to get pretty ugly. And so we're going to see things happen that we've never seen before. And one of them is the open manifestation of demonic demo, demonic entities. And my friend Johnny called me this morning and I called him back and he and he shared a testimony 
uh, something that happened to me. Uh, and uh, he lives in a, in a motor home. And he said that uh, this is just recent. He didn't put a date on it, but it would be in the last, see, within the last year. And he, uh, in any way, he is sitting in his in his camper, and the, he's looking at the pictures in his wall, and, and faces started to uh, emerge out of the pictures. The demonic entities, the faces of these of demons, began to pop out of the pictures. And uh, then he said that he went in. He had a open vision where he saw a demon actually begin to uh, merge through his floor, he start to rise up. Uh, from you know in, into his cabin, you know, and he seen it. He said that it it stunk. The, the stink is unbelievable, right? And it just just gross, ugly, and, <clears throat> and that the smell was like rotting flesh and uh, whatever. It's just really bad. And once you get a whiff of it, you can't get it out of your. You you know it's it's in your nose. You can't get rid of the smell. And the, he said that he had these, this pair of black eyes that were looking looking at him, right? Just just watching him. And so we're going to see things like this happen. And the Lord spoke to him, and he said, "Plead my blood." And when he pleaded the blood of Jesus, that it disappeared. That's the power that's in the name of Jesus, right? And sadly, there's going to be a lot of Christians caught off guard. Because not, you know, the church doesn't teach about the three days of darkness. People are not preparing. You're going to have to make, make some physical preparation, right? You know, for example, here, in this place here, you know, I got, I got two dogs. And I need to make a, a place where they could uh, use the bathroom, right? And uh, so the only, only thing that I can do here, I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to open up this door so there's, so there's some light. And I got room down here, you know, where I can make a, I'll make a little you know, two by four frame that to fit that cavity and uh, put some plastic on the back and have it ready to go. And, pick up some cat litter so when that time time comes i can throw that down there for the dogs and then uh, i got some plywood where i need to block off this window and i need to block off this window right and i need to make a a bar to go across this door keep uh people from trying to trying to come in and then i need to make uh another uh, plywood to, to block that off and because uh, it's going to get pretty uh, crazy if you're not prepared for it when the sun goes down at noon you're going to be caught in the darkness and the, and the gross darkness that's coming upon the earth and during this time uh, the world's going to experience the, the death angel is is going to be released right the, the the same that what happened in the time of the Exodus, in the tenth plague that God released the tenth angel, and then after that that uh, a Pharaoh kind of conceded to to, Mo, to Moses, right? Same same scenario, same same just a replay of what's taken place, you know, thousands of years ago, and. Uh, so I need to do that. I need to get another water bottle. I got two five-gallon water bottles. I need to pick up a third. Uh, that'll keep me through. And this little place here, I need to fill this full of wood. And uh, I got more wood storage uh, that I could do in that room there. Right? But I need a place where the dogs could do their thing. Because, you know, you can't, you're not going to be able to leave them out. You, know, you open up the door to leave your dogs out, you're going to be staring at the face of some demonic entity. This is really going to happen, people. Most people are going to be taken by surprise. Right? And uh, so this is a time that 
a time that where people need to be on their knees in repentance. Those who are, are trapped in the darkness, if you've got any fear in you, you're going to become a target. And you're going to see people on their face before God crying out, crying out for, for God to save them, right? God's going to, uh, you know, when, when the death angel comes, the only reprieve uh, is going to be the name of Jesus crying out, crying out to the Lord. I got people that, you know, I got best friends here that I know that they believe in God, but they believe in the in the new age God. Their new age God is not going to help them. And it's going to, going to take the three days of darkness to, to wake them up. It's sad, you know. Most people in this town don't know about the three days of darkness. And uh, what can you do? And uh, I, may, I may make up some posters uh, to try to get them out. You know, that's an outreach. Uh, so people can be ready. Now, physically, because there are physical things that you do need to need to do to be, to be ready. I need, need to make sure I got a a, a a full canister of propane, right? So you can still do your cooking. You know, that you got candles, right? I got candles here. So I'm basically set up. I just need to cover the windows and make a place for for the dogs to do their business and and, and blockade the door. And be ready, because when it when it happens, when the sun goes down at noon. That's it. You're you're locked in for three days. You're locked in for three days. But that's not the only thing that's going to you know we can, we can prepare for this. But during this time, if you go research the asteroid prophecy, and this asteroid hits Puerto Rico and causes that. Th a 12.0 earthquake in a thousand foot tidal, tidal wave. Now, this is going to happen at two o'clock in the morning, Puerto Rico time. That by five o'clock in the morning, that Florida is going to be gone. Southern Florida is going to be underwater. And, uh, and that, and that this uh, tidal wave, tidal wave is still going to be three, four hundred feet. High time it uh, works its way around to the eastern seaboard of the United States. And there's been numerous prophecies that Stan Johnson's been getting out on the Prophecy Club where people saw uh, a tsunami go inland between 25 to 100 miles right up to the Appalachian Mountains. And you have to remember this is going to happen during the three days of darkness, there's not going to be no sun. It's going to happen during the time of a gross darkness upon the earth. Right? That the east, that millions of people will lose their lives during this time. That they won't even know. Well, I guess they will know because of the uh, many are going to be caught caught up by the demonic and in the, in the gross darkness. And, but it's going to cause, cause people to get on their knees and to, to repent. So during this time, God's going to take many people home who are not, whose, whose faith is lacking to be able to endure the days ahead. We're talking millions, millions of people. Millions of lives will be lost on the East Coast. This is coming. And possibly coming this year. I'm not setting no dates. I'm just going by what uh, Mike from from around the world on uh, and uh, Pastor Paul Bigley's Thursday night podcast. What he's bringing out that uh, that there is going to be a deep impact event this year. That's going to you know that's that's going to affect the magnetics where the Earth is going to be thrown out of its orbit, right? David Terrell, God's prophet to the world, he's seen this 40 years ago. And uh, so I was just sharing the little bit that I know on the three days of darkness. You go to the Prophecy Club, you could you, know, you could catch up. And if this is your first time hearing about it, go to the Prophecy Club and, 
and uh, just type in three days of darkness. You know, it's going it's to come up. What we need to prepare in our hearts is this is the time that God's going to release, allow, <clears throat> allow the veil to be lifted <clears throat> that's protecting us from the demonic realm. And also the time <clears throat> that uh, the death angel is going to, going, to, going to go across the face of the earth. So if we're not hidden away, if we're not hid away in the sacred place of the Most High, in Psalms 90, 91, man, you know, it's, if there's any fear in your heart, you're going to become a target. You're going to become a target. But we need to get ready. So I'm going to do what I can in the next two or three weeks to get prepared here. And I would highly recommend that every one of you listening to this do the same. Ask the Lord how to prepare. Have a plan together, right? Have a plan together. When this time comes, to be able to lock yourself down for three days. You know, this is going to happen. And, the, you know, this, the death angel is, is going to be released. So I'm going to leave it here. Uh, God bless you all and get this uploaded.